Hello, welcome. Try this problem out and then press play. We'll solve it together. All right, so a house purchased five years ago for $100,000 is just has just been sold for $135,000. Okay, so <clears throat> it's gone up in value over five years. Okay, so assuming exponential growth, approximately the annual growth rate to the nearest percent. So I'm just thinking that here there's the annual growth rate. I mean, it's growing once per year, let's say. And we have some starting balance in general. In this case, it's 100,000. All right, so this number, 100,000. You have to take that amount and multiply it by one plus some rate over some amount of years. Let's call them x. And in the end, you're getting $135,000. Uh, you're, you're left with a house, excuse me, that's worth $135,000. So this is our exponential equation that we're setting up. And the basic idea right here is just that you have $100,000. Let's say, let's say it's growing at 5%. It's not. But let's say it is. That means after the first year, you multiply it by 1.05, and it grows by 5%. Then, after the second year, that's going to be some number, some value. You multiply it again, that whole thing, by 1.05. Because the original amount, 100,000, that first grew by 5%. Now, this whole product, it's 5% of that that's growing. And then, so on and so forth, year after year. You're multiplying by 1.05 over and over and over again until we reach um, whatever we're looking for. In this case, 135,000. Um, but... In this case, they actually give us x. They give us the number of years. So we don't really even need, right, we don't need to think about that per se. We can actually just, sorry, get this eraser here. <clears throat> we can plug in 5 and then solve. How do we solve? Divide by 100,000 on both sides. That's going to give me 1.35 equals 1 plus r to the fifth. Now, if you have 1 plus r to the fifth and you're trying to solve it, you might take the fifth root of both sides. So the fifth root of 1.35 is going to equal now the fifth root of the fifth power is just one, right? We're basically taking the one fifth power of both sides. And the one fifth power <coughs> of five, or one fifth times five, is just one. They cancel out. So you have one plus r. And again, the one fifth power is just the one fifth root, same thing. And then we subtract 1 on both sides. So we're dealing with the fifth root of 1.35. So some number multiplied uh, 5 times got you 1.35. And then we're subtracting 1 from that because we want to just know what the growth rate is to the nearest percent. And that's a calculator problem for me. So I would just do the fifth root. So we do 1.35 to the power of 1 fifth. 1 divided by 5. Hit enter. And we get 1.061858. So that's 100%, right? That would be this one right here. And then 0.06, that's our 6% growth rate. But the math shows us that because we still subtract the one away. And all we're left with is the growth rate of 0.061. And they want it to the nearest percent. So it's about, so R is about 6%. Right, 0.06 is 6%, and that's our growth rate. You can test it out. Plug in 6%, start at 100,000, multiply by 1.06 five times, and you will get 135,000. All right, thanks. Hope this helped.